Hi, my name is Jalea Christine, and today I'm going to be talking about the folds of menstrual cups. So if you're new to menstrual cups and you're not sure how to insert your cup, or you're having a hard time getting your cup to pop open, we recommend these folds. I'm going to go over the four main folds and then mention three additional folds towards the end. So the first fold is the C fold. also known as the U-fold. This is the most popular fold and works best if you're having trouble to get your cup to pop open. To do the C-fold, you take your finger and punch down and squeeze it together until you create a C-shape. You will want to insert this fold using the back of the C-shape or the bottom of the U-shape where it creates a curve. This fold is also great because you can do it with one hand as well. So next is the punch down fold. having trouble using the cup, we recommend using this fold. It's called the punch down fold because you take the top of the cup and you punch it down to the middle of the cup. When you do this, it creates a very small insertion point so that's very close to the size of the tampon. To get this fold to pop open, you can push on the base and it'll pop open easily. A word of wisdom to all of my ladies. Before we get further into these folds, if you are having trouble with your cup, I just want you to breathe in and breathe out. You can't insert your cup if you're tense, if you're feeling agitated by it not working. If you're new to using a menstrual cup, you have to remember to be patient with yourself and give yourself time and your body time to adjust to trying something new. Next we have the triangle fold. So if the punch down fold doesn't create a small enough point of insertion, then we recommend using the triangle fold. So to do the triangle fold, you squeeze the cup to make it flat. Then take one corner and bring it all the way down to the base of the cup. And then to pop this open after you insert it, you push on the created fold and it should pop open. Next we have the seven fold. So we recommend using the seven fold if the previous three didn't work. So to do the seven fold, you take the cup Squeeze it, then fold it over to create a seven shape. To get this fold to pop open, you can push on the fold that you created, which would be at the bottom of the seven. So here are the other three folds you can try if the first four of them didn't work for you. The first of these is the tulip fold. To do the tulip fold, you take one side and fold it to the front middle of the cup. Then take the side remaining and fold it to the back middle. This will create a tulip shape or an S shape. So next we have the labia fold. This fold is good if you're having trouble getting your soft cup to pop open. So to do the labia fold, you take the edge of the cup, pinch it and fold it down to the middle of the cup. Then squeeze the side around it, kind of like a taco. You will notice a numb sticking out of it and you can push on this numb to open the cup. Lastly, we have the origami fold. If you've never done origami, this is a starting point. So to do this fold, it's similar to the punch down. So you wanna start with a half punch, then twist it around to create a rosebud. This will also create a little numb at the base of the cup to push on in order to get the cup to pop open. Okay, so these are all the folds we're gonna go over today. And honestly, ladies, inserting a menstrual cup should not be rocket science. You don't have to do origami to insert your cup if you don't want to. We recommend sticking with the first two folds, but if you wanna just try the other ones for fun, or if the first two don't work for you, then feel free to try any of these. So now it's your turn. In the comments below, I want you to let us know which folds work best for you. And don't be afraid to continue the conversation. We love to answer any questions or respond to comments that you have about the folds of menstrual cups. If you're looking for more information, check out our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.